what is and how to use the GPS guided bombs in War Thunder. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons, make sure to subscribe. And yes guys, the GPS guided or better called the GNSS guided bombs because we have a GPS guided one and a GLONASS guided one, which are different systems for different countries technically are added to the dev server. So let's talk a little bit about them and show to you guys how to use them, okay? So what is this type of bomb? As you can see, especially with the um, American one, we have the JDAM, normally called the GBU-38 in this case. And don't you worry, a lot of vehicles will receive these bombs, including the F-16C, the F-15C, the F-14B, the AV-8P+, the A-10C, uh, the Japanese F-15J, M, uh, there is the SMT with the Cobb 500S, just like the SU-24. So there are many, many ones that will be added, okay? Uh, just know that, that there will be, it's just that it's not ready yet, okay? But yeah, guys, what is this? Well, it is a package for normal bombs, uh, in the case of the US, to actually, just like a GBU package, right? to mount a non-guided bomb to become a guided bomb. But it is using the satellite navigation, which means that you can pinpoint a location and you will know where to hit the target without any type of guidance from the bomb itself. You know, any laser or TV guidance. The um, Cobb 500S is basically the same. It is a Cobb 500, a 500 kilogram bomb, Russian bomb, with the same package type of package guided by GPS and you know you can get to a pinpoint location and destroy a target but think about it if you don't have a way of knowing where the target is or to input information like a laser into the miss uh, into the bomb it means that the bomb cannot be updated during its flight meaning that a moving target is completely safe from these bombs so they are not going to be OP by any means the only good part about this compared to a laser guided or TV guided is that you can fire all of them and they are completely fire and forget and you, you know, I mean, the TV is also one, but um, yeah, it's just easier to use, but it has to be on a non-moving target. So let's get to a quick game and I will show to you guys in the Harrier and after that in the SU-24 how to use them, okay? So how do we use these bombs? Well, they're very, very simple to use, actually. You just need to aim to the target and drop the bomb. That's pretty much what it is. The bomb will do the rest. That's the good part about it, because it's very simple and just very easy, you know? Uh, so, for example, I can just try to lock it there, kind of. And we're going to turn on our thing here let me grab these these ones they're better and it doesn't have an fov or anything like that you just need to get into the position kind of like for example here it's pretty good and i'm gonna aim to the target and drop the bomb drop the bomb drop the bomb i might miss that one and drop the bomb and i mean you can turn around we can aim into another direction over here Try to find other targets. One, 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 one. I'm just aiming and dropping the bombs. And yeah, all of those are hit. Four hits. And as you see, the bombs will guide themselves automatically to the target that you fired. The problem is that they cannot move themselves. But as you see, they are very, very precise bombs, guys. They are really, really precise. We have two still, one here and one here. And the bomb will just go to the target. Remember, it's GPS guided, so it doesn't have an FOV, it doesn't have anything. It just goes for the target as close as you can get to destroy that target. So, uh, yeah, it's very effective. It can be a very good bomb, especially for Air RB, to be honest, but also for uh, Ground RB. But you just have to remind yourself that... If it's a moving target, it's always nice to have a laser-guided one or a TV-guided one as well. And of course, uh, one of the advantages here is that you can just point and click basically to any target that you want. Uh, we are here with the SU-24. 
And of course, it's the same, right? And being the same, I'm too fast. Did the bomb drop? I think it did, right? Um, and being GPS and stuff, you can just be very, very far away. Like, really far away and drop the bomb. You just gotta, like, be careful, but you can do whatever you want. It's kind of crazy. And you just aim and shoot. You aim and shoot. Kind of where the targets are. And you just leave. You leave the battle. And it's that easy. It's an amazing type of bomb. Although it has its drawbacks, it's another option. In an SU-24, for example, in a ground battle, I would still use the Cap 500S, but together with other bombs as well. Maybe a laser-guided one. I love laser-guided ones. Maybe a TV guided one if you are into that. So it depends. Oh, my bombs <laughs> didn't have the energy. <laughs> I dropped them too early. Um, but yeah, these ones were gonna hit. Yeah, I mean, you gotta still use it as a bomb, right? You gotta be careful with where you shoot, where you drop the bombs and stuff. So, uh, yeah. And of course, remember, if you shoot in a moving target column, for example, like that. I'm gonna show to you guys before we wrap this up. It's gonna keep moving, so you gotta be careful. Hold up. So I gotta be a little bit... Uh, it would be nice if it showed where the, the bombs are gonna be dropped there, but... Yeah, there it probably has the energy. Now we can destroy everything here. And then I'm gonna try to kill these targets, but you will notice how I just have to point and click, and then we're gonna check it out, these bombs falling, before we wrap up the video, and you will see that the bomb is actually adjusting for the target that I pointed to, but the targets are moving, but it's a point in space, right? So the bomb will not guide itself to the targets that are moving. Let's see those bombs fall. Mm. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna kind of hit. But not really. I mean, it might even kill. Yeah, it will kill some targets. But just because it's a column of vehicles, right? I was aiming for the first ones and I hit it the middle to back ones, right? So you gotta just be careful with that. But yeah, guys, this is it for the, the GPS guided bombs. They are pretty interesting. I wonder... If in the future we're gonna have like the GBU, the JDANs that have a laser a guidance as well, that could be fun. Uh, to make the bomb a little bit more precise, I mean, you would be able to just drop in a general direction very far away and just at the last minute turn on your laser and then do the, you know, small adjustments to actually destroy the target. So yeah, very cool, isn't it? But yeah, guys, I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what do you think about the GPS-guided bombs. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. See you guys on the next one. Bye. See ya.